The U.S. military pulled out the big guns in the fight against ISIS today. A 21,000 pound bomb, the largest non nuclear weapon the United States has ever used. It's only known use before this 2003 test. The massive ordnance air blast is better known by its nickname, the mother of all bombs. So big, it's stored in the cargo hold and dropped out of the back of a plane. A U.S. aircraft dropped one of these monster bombs today on an ISIS tunnel complex in eastern Afghanistan. President Trump suggested he didn't personally authorize the strike, left that to his commanders. We have given them total authorization, and this was another very, very successful mission. The toll of the bomb, both physical and psychological. The shock value of this weapon is simply unbelievable. It feels like an earthquake 15 miles away. Uh, it'll collapse underground uh, subterranean caverns with the ISIS fighters in them. But the 15-year war in Afghanistan, the longest in U.S. history, has proven having the mightiest weapons doesn't guarantee victory. The U.S. still has more than 8,000 troops in Afghanistan, but extremist groups, including ISIS, remain strong. Just this weekend, an American soldier was killed there. But was today's bombing about defeating ISIS or flexing muscles? President Trump has repeatedly promised to get tough on ISIS. I'm going to bomb the out of them. Now the commander-in-chief is translating that tough talk into action, dropping one of the biggest conventional bombs the military could find. Military experts say there are plenty of other weapons that can collapse tunnels, and that this, in many ways, was a test to see what this bomb can do. The other purpose? Messaging. To frighten ISIS and show toughness. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.